Here we go. I'm gonna give it a shot. My dogs are wigging out. Um, so we're gonna just do what we can. All right, but here we go. Mr. Lemoncello's Library Olympics. This is chapter, this is the book two of the one we read. Uh, I'm going to read, this will be chapter one. I'm gonna try to name them. And it's by Chris Grabenstein, who is the coolest guy. Follow him if you are on, you're on Twitter. He does some cool stuff on Twitter. Um, that I've seen and Daniel and Hayden got the email from him and Hayden and his mom wrote an essay and they sent a book. I mean, he does some cool stuff. He's got a website. Check it out. Okay, here we go. Chapter one. Just about every kid in America wished they could be Kyle Keeley, especially when he zoomed across their TV screens as a flaming squirrel in a holiday commercial for Squirrel Squad 6, the hysterically crazy new Lemoncello video game. Kyle's friends, Akima Hughes and Sierra Russell, were also in that commercial. They thumbed controllers and tried to blast Kyle out of the sky. He dodged every rubber band, coconut custard pie, mud clawed, and wadded up sock ball they flung his way. It was awesome. In the commercial for Mr. Lemoncello's CEO, Wouldn't Want to Be a Board Game, Kyle starred as the Yellow Pawn. His head became the bubble tip at the top of the playing piece. Kyle's buddy, Miguel Fernandez, was the green pawn. Kyle and Miguel slid around the life-size game like hockey, hockey pucks. And when Miguel landed on the same square as Kyle, that meant Kyle's pawn had to be bumped back to the starting line. See ya, shouted Miguel. Wouldn't want to be ya. Kyle was yanked up off the ground by a hidden cable and hurled backwards, soaring above the board. It was also awesome. But Kyle's absolute favorite starring role was in the commercial for Mr. Lemoncello's You Seriously Can't Say That Game, where the object was to get your teammates to guess the word on your card without using any of the forbidden words listed on the same card. Akimi, Sierra, Miguel, and the perpetually perky Haley, Daly, sat on a circular couch and played the guessers. Kyle stood in front of them as the clue giver. Salsa, said Kyle. Nachos, said Akimi. A buzzer sounded. Akimi's guess was wrong. Kyle tried again. Horseradish sauce. Something nobody ever eats, said Haley. Another buzzer. Kyle goofed up and said one of the forbidden words. Ketchup. Splat. Fifty gallons of syrup. Sorry, doing two things at once. Fifty gallons of syrup. Goopy tomato sauce slimed him from above. It oozed down his face and dribbled off his ears. Everybody laughed, so Kyle, who loved being the class clown almost as much as he loved playing and winning Mr. Lemoncello's wacky games, went ahead and read the whole list of banned words as quickly as he could. Mustard mayonnaise pickle relish! Squish! He was drenched by buckets of yellow glop, white sludge, and chunky green gunk. The slop slid along his sleeves, trickled into his pants, and puddled on the floor. His four friends busted a gut laughing, his four, his four friends busted a gut laughing at Kyle, who was soaked in more condiments, the word on his card, than a mile-long hot dog. Was it fun? boomed an off-camera announcer. Fun, answered Haley. Hello, it's a young lemon jello. And that's how all the commercials ended, with Hela, Haley saying the slogan, Hello, it's a lemon jello. She became a TV superstar. People all across America wish they could be Haley Daly, too. Except, of course, for the kids who were extremely jealous of her and wondered why she, Kyle Keeley, Akima Hughes, Sierra Russell, and Miguel Fernandez had been chosen to star in Mr. Lemoncello's holiday commercials. What they found that becoming famous TV stars was the prize the five kids had won in a game played at Mr. Lemoncello's incredible new library in Alexandriaville, Ohio. A game they hadn't been invited to play. They started demanding a rematch. The end of chapter one.